Hello guys. Hello guys. We're, we're going to the National Aquarium. Welcome to the National Aquarium Abu Dhabi. It is the largest aquarium in the Middle East. We are here. Look at the turtles. See, there's a turtle. So big. And there's a shark. It's so beautiful. The aquarium houses different types of sharks and rays, another marine species that can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Arctic oceans. This is humphead wrasse, native to Pacific and Indian oceans. And now we're headed to the bottom of the ocean. Horseshoe crabs live in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's go deeper in the Atlantic cave. These are rock and lobster. Did you know that these creatures can live for more than 20 years? and can grow to a weight of up to 5 kilograms. That's heavy. It's a? It's a lobster. And it's so big. The Ring of Fire, also known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Girdle of Fire, or the Circum-Pacific Belt, is a region around much of the rim of the Pacific Ocean where many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur. In Hawaii, you will see fish like this yellow tail. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers. Can you imagine how vast this coral reef is? It's totally vast! Well, the major families of fish species that can be found in the waters of the Great Barrier Reef include angelfish, butterfly fish, cardinal fish, clownfish, damselfish, gobbies, groupers and cods, parrotfish, and more. There are many clownfishes here, come!
This clownfish seems so curious about me watching. Now this is the weedy sea dragon. The weedy sea dragon is a marine fish related to the seahorses. Adult common sea dragons are a reddish color with yellow and purple markings and they have small leaf-like appendages that resemble kelp fronds. Arctic birds, Atlantic puffins, Arctic birds, common birds, duck. Let's see, where are the ducks? Where are the ducks? Look at the bird. Look at the bird. Hi, bird. Say hi, bird. Where are you, bird? These birds are capable of diving underwater to feed. Moray eels. Did you know that they are nocturnals? Meaning, they only come out at night to feed and hide at daytime. Party! In this area, we can also find the green tree frogs. Their feet can stick to any surface anytime they like. They feed on insects. And these iguanas feed on plants. The reticulated python is a python species native to South and Southeast Asia. It is the world's longest snake. They are not venomous, instead, they have backward curved teeth which grab their prey like a fork. The python then wraps around the prey, not crushing, but suffocating it. The short tailed stingray is mainly bottom dwelling in nature, meaning you can only find them on the bottom of the estuaries bays, reefs, sandy bottoms, and other shallow marine waters. Oh, I love basking in the sun like this green turtle. Arapaima gigas, also known as Piraruku, is a species of Arapaima native to the basin of the Amazon River. The world's known Piraruku has the length of a story of a building. Wow! True to their name, red-bellied piranhas are red on their undersides from chin and cheek to belly. They are known to be the scavengers in Amazon. Here comes the shark. The blue shark occurs in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans in both inshore and offshore waters. It is one of the most graceful of all shark species. Their favorite food is squid. Welcome to Batina Island. It is a tiny archipelago amid extensive coral formations in the United Arab Emirates. Found in the waters of Abu Dhabi, it is protected as a private nature reserve. What's this? Look, look at steam. Look at steam. Huh? It has a long tail. There's also starfish. Have you seen the starfish? It's a With its shallow waters, seagrass beds, tall mangroves, and extensive coral reefs, Batina Island is where a diverse range of marine life thrive. Explore island life in all its glory while supporting the environmental agency of Abu Dhabi to spread the importance of island conservation. This themed aquarium is a great place to spend your weekends with your family. Like Adam, every child will enjoy seeing different species of marine animal from the tiniest to the biggest. 
you'll definitely love the experience. The aquarium also gives you the opportunity to take a look at what is happening behind the scenes. This area is the laboratory and quarantine facility of the National Aquarium. They treat their sick animals here and when they get okay, they take them back to their habitat. They also hatch sea turtle eggs here, that's lovely. Water filtration and treatment is also done here so the marine animals will enjoy clean and healthy water underneath. This is the view from the bridge, or the upper portion of the aquarium. Here you can get the chance to get on a boat and see the animals on the bottom. It's so nice to experience the 10 themed zones in the National Aquarium of Abu Dhabi. You can also enjoy delicious foods that is very accessible from food stalls outside the aquarium, like this one. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can experience the beauty of the 10 themed zones too and see for yourself how wonderful it is. Just visit the National Aquarium now. You can buy the ticket through the link in the description below. See you soon. Bye bye.